China's Jack Group has introduced the world's first electric vehicle powered by a more affordable solid-state sodium-ion battery. This groundbreaking battery technology developed by the Beijing-based startup Hina Battery Technologies has the potential to decrease the cost of EVs significantly. The newly unveiled Jack EV, currently in the form of a concept car, is equipped with a 25 kilowatt hour battery. But what makes this car different from other EVs? And does this technology stand a chance against the ever-growing lithium-ion batteries? The motivation behind developing sodium-ion batteries is primarily rooted in the notable price surge of lithium in the past year. This increase in prices imposed financial challenges on battery manufacturers and downstream users. Consequently, the demand for alternative battery solutions that offer improved cost efficiency, robust safety features, and exceptional cycle performance has increased. Solid-state sodium-ion batteries have emerged as a highly anticipated contender to lithium-ion batteries due to their potential to address these challenges effectively. Lithium prices experienced a significant increase last year, more than doubling and reaching a peak of 597,500 yuan or $6,260 per ton in China in November. However, these prices have since declined, currently standing at around 400,000 yuan per ton as of the most recent data. Sodium-ion batteries present an appealing solution due to their utilization of more cost-effective raw materials. These batteries offer electric vehicle manufacturers an alternative to the conventional technologies that heavily rely on lithium and cobalt as primary components. While sodium-ion batteries have a lower energy density than their lithium-ion counterparts, measured at 140 watt-hours per kilogram, they offer certain advantages such as enhanced performance in low-temperature conditions and faster charging speeds. In contrast, lithium-ion batteries, which incorporate nickel, manganese, and cobalt, boast higher energy density ranging from 240 watt-hours to 350 watt-hours per kilogram. CATL, a prominent electric vehicle battery manufacturer headquartered in China's Fujian province, introduced its first-generation sodium-ion battery in July 2021. This novel battery technology offers an energy density of 160 watt-hours per kilogram. Another Chinese company, Hina Battery Technologies, established in 2017, is also actively involved in developing and commercializing sodium-ion batteries. Hina's ambition extends beyond passenger vehicles, with plans to integrate the new battery technology into electric buses and scooters. However, the company hasn't disclosed a specific timeline for incorporating its batteries into production models. Hina's president, Li Shijun, indicated that their manufacturing facilities are already operational, and the company is exploring opportunities to supply its batteries to various manufacturers of passenger vehicles. The demonstration vehicle from Jack highlights the ongoing efforts of Chinese automakers and battery manufacturers to develop innovative technologies that can drive down the cost of electric vehicles, making them more accessible to consumers. The availability of more affordable batteries is expected to boost the adoption of electric vehicles significantly. According to UBS, it's projected that by 2030, three out of every five new vehicles sold in China will be electric. Chinese companies have shown remarkable dominance in the global EV battery market, with six Chinese firms ranking among the top 10 players in 2022. Moreover, certain Chinese EV manufacturers are also planning to establish their own battery production facilities. For example, NIO is constructing its initial battery factory to manufacture large cylindrical cells similar to Tesla's. The new facility, situated near its primary manufacturing center in Hefei, Anhui province, is expected to have an annual capacity of 40 gigawatt hours. Sodium ion batteries emerged as a commercially viable option in the 1990s, offering an alternative to the widely adopted lithium ion batteries. Sodium ion batteries operate through a chemical reaction that facilitates the storage and discharge of electrical energy. Like all batteries, they consist of two electrodes, an anode and a cathode. They're separated by an electrolyte, a specialized substance enabling the movement of ions, which are minuscule particles possessing a positive or negative charge between these electrodes. The mechanism of sodium ion batteries resembles that of lithium ion batteries, although with the utilization of sodium ions in place of lithium ions. The selection of electrode and electrolyte materials significantly influences the battery's overall performance and durability. Consequently, researchers continuously explored diverse combinations of these materials to identify the optimal balance between factors such as cost, efficiency, and safety. In most cases, the cathode and the electrolyte both incorporate sodium. 
While lithium-ion batteries remain a focus of research for potential enhancements, sodium-ion batteries exhibit several distinctive strengths of their own. Regarding safety, sodium-ion batteries are generally regarded as less prone to overheating and ignition than their lithium-ion counterparts. However, it's worth noting that some experimental lithium batteries have demonstrated remarkable resilience against damage that would typically lead to explosions in conventional batteries. Nonetheless, sodium-ion batteries carry the advantage of enhanced safety characteristics. Like any technology, sodium-ion batteries are not without their drawbacks, which have contributed to their slower adoption compared to lithium-ion batteries. Several factors explain why sodium-ion batteries haven't yet replaced lithium-ion as the dominant technology. One significant limitation is the lower voltage of sodium-ion batteries, measuring at 2.5 volts in contrast to lithium-ion batteries with a voltage of 3.7. This disparity in voltage makes sodium-ion batteries less suitable for higher power applications that demand rapid energy delivery. Their slower charge and discharge rates further pose challenges for applications requiring quick and substantial power delivery. Another aspect that sodium-ion batteries need to address is their limited charge cycle lifespan. While some lithium-ion battery chemistries can endure up to 10,000 cycles before experiencing degradation, sodium-ion batteries currently fall short in this regard. Beyond technical limitations, the manufacturing process for sodium-ion batteries requires refinement before achieving widespread commercial viability. But despite these drawbacks, scientists and engineers are actively working to address sodium-ion battery technology's weaknesses, indicating potential future improvements and advancements. Researchers and companies worldwide are actively engaged in enhancing sodium-ion batteries' performance and commercial viability. These efforts center around key aspects like boosting energy density, increasing voltage, extending battery lifespan, and improving charge and discharge rates. Should these endeavors prove successful, sodium-ion batteries could emerge as a credible alternative to lithium-ion batteries in various applications. This potential versatility could span from powering portable electronics and electric vehicles to providing energy storage solutions for stationary systems. In 2022, scientists at the U.S. Department of Energy achieved a breakthrough in enhancing the durability of sodium-ion batteries. Prototype coin-sized batteries demonstrated a capacity retention of over 90% after more than 300 cycles through modifications to the battery's chemistry. This accomplishment showcases progress towards overcoming one of the limitations of sodium-ion battery tech. Despite these strides, sodium-ion batteries are seemingly on the brink of entering mass production, even without the implementation of novel chemistry approaches as seen in China. This development indicates the growing confidence in the readiness of sodium-ion battery technology for practical applications in the near future. The upcoming generations of HENA sodium-ion batteries are expected to push the energy density to 200 watt-hours per kilogram and beyond in subsequent iterations. Considering that some electric cars using lithium-ion batteries have energy densities below 250 watt-hours per kilogram, these initial mass-produced sodium-ion batteries hold promising potential for reducing the cost of power storage. It's important to note that while this technology holds great promise for larger-scale applications such as electric vehicles and power storage systems, it may not find its way into smartphones or laptops in the near future. The primary consideration for these smaller devices remains energy density. However, the prospect of seeing sodium-ion batteries utilized in electric cars or solar power battery systems is becoming increasingly likely. With the surge in electric vehicle sales, the demand for high-density, long-lasting, and cost-effective batteries continues to intensify, leading to a competitive environment in the field of solid-state batteries. This competition is driving research and development efforts to accelerate the market entry of solid-state batteries. Various materials and designs are being explored and making significant strides in development. In the near future, we might see graphene, manganese, and other types of minerals come into the market. However, replacing lithium-ion batteries with sodium solid-state batteries highlights an exciting advancement in energy storage technology. Solid-state batteries hold immense promise for the future of EVs despite their inherent advantages and disadvantages when compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. This is why major players in the automotive industry, including BMW, Ford, Mercedes, Toyota, and Nissan, are investing in solid-state battery research and development. They're working towards incorporating this technology into their EV lineup in the upcoming years. For example, Nissan plans to offer EVs equipped with in-house produced solid-state batteries by 2028. This commitment signals a strong belief in the potential of solid-state battery technology and hints at substantial advancements in the near future. That's all from today's video. What do you think of the new solid-state sodium-ion batteries? 
Do you think the Chinese market manufacturers are making a good move by jumping on this technology? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.